Yeah, I messed up on this exam, but I didn't think I messed up that bad. However, the scores show otherwise. It shows that I messed up a lot. Either way, we got to talk about it. Now, from May, probably around June, this is when all the rumors started to spread. I think it was mainly because PTE had a little banner when you logged in and it said that they were making changes. However, a lot of people didn't bother to read the entire thing because it said changes to the practice tests, the mock tests. What they were doing was moving it. So they weren't changing questions or anything like that. But that didn't stop the rumors from spreading like wildfire. The trial questions are going to be real questions. I took the exam as early as I could in July because that's when they say it was going to change. And what did I notice? The trial questions were still trial questions. How do I know? Well, let's take a look at my speaking. That's the only part I didn't mess up on. 90 in speaking. Well, you can say, how do you know they didn't change it? How do you know it's not scored? Well, it's because I didn't answer them. <laughs> right? I always said I wasn't going to answer them. Whenever I got the trial questions, I waited for the instructions to finish. And it's very long. And once it was over, I pressed next. I did not attempt to answer them. So with that said, the trial questions are still trial questions. And it's supposed to last to the end of July. Nothing has changed about that. And... Nothing has changed with the PTE speaking. But with that said, once people found out the questions had not changed on the exam, they created a new rumor, right? So they're saying techniques that you're using in the past won't, use, won't work now, after July. Well, this test was July, July 4th. And I got 90 in speaking. Did I change anything for the speaking? Not a bit. Not one thing. I did it exactly the same way. So it seems like the scoring hadn't changed either. So I'm not sure how many rumors you got to serve me and I got to swat it down, but I'm tired of this, okay? If people are spreading rumors, just see if they're showing you scores for it. If they didn't bother taking the test to show you the score, because now the test costs $460. If they want to spread these kind of rumors, they got to invest in that $460 to at least fake it. right? You can't just fake it with words now. You got to fake it with the score. So go take the PT test, $460, and then talk about it. If they don't, talk, if they don't show it, then why spread the rumor? Why help people spread the rumor? You heard me? Now, that's with the speaking. Let's talk about the other scores. This is where I messed up. And it's my fault, my responsibility. Um, as far as the reading and listening goes, I messed up. I messed up on, um, on the important questions. One of the reading and writing fill in the blanks, I think I missed one entire one. And then one, one of the listening fill in the blanks, I missed most of them. Partially because I was distracted. That's why I, I lost focus. All right, but I'm responsible. I should know better. I should not let the people working at the test center distract me. All right? But because they were walking around behind me, they stood right behind me watching me take the exam. I even talked about that in the reel that I made um, after I took the exam about how she stood right behind me. And as soon as I pressed finished, she took the notes I had. She took my pens and my notes immediately. So... They did that throughout the whole test. So I was distracted. I looked away. And um, I fell for their trap. Because I don't know why they're acting like that in the test center. They got cameras. If you want to see if I'm cheating, look at the camera. You ain't got to stand behind me. You ain't seen shit from standing behind me. So they're probably just there trying to distract people. And if they distract people, we miss question. We fail. And we got to take the test again. So it's my fault. I let them distract me. And uh, I missed these questions. And as you know, if you don't get reading and listening, you're not getting the writing. 
So I'm not going to automatically assume that, oh, shit, something's changed with the writing. Something's changed and the scores are different. Nah, we're not going to jump to that right away because it's just one test and I knew I messed up. After I took the test and I had a class with my students, I told them, don't expect 90 in the writing. I messed up. I thought I would still get 79, though. I didn't think I would get under 79, but hey, maybe I messed up more than I thought. All right, so I wouldn't jump to conclusions right away saying that PT has changed. If the reading and listening were high as well, like 80s, speaking 90, and then the writing was low, then we can assume that something was wrong with the writing. But because reading and listening were low, and I knew I messed up on reading and listening, that's automatically going to pull down the writing score. I hope that made sense. All right. So with that said, you know I'm not just going to sit here and wait another month. If the scores don't come back the way I expect them to, we're going right back. So I got another test scheduled for Saturday. And we're going to run it back. And just to make sure, I can definitively say nothing has changed because I need to give my students peace of mind. So I hope that gave you insight on how things have not changed in July.